Hi, today we are going to classify 196 different classes of cars. So basically a big amount of uh, categories and we will use YOLO V8 in order uh, to, do, uh, to create this model. So we will divide this uh, tutorial for several steps and the first one will be uh, creating a new environment. So we will use the content create in order to create this environment. It will be based on YOLO V8. Okay, next we have to activate this uh, new and fresh environment. So we will use the conda activate uh, command. And next it's really important. We need to install PyTorch, but in order to do that, we need to uh, test and uh, examine what is our current CUDA. As you can see, my current CUDA version is 11.8. So now we will choose a um, PyTorch version that support 11.8. Let's choose, for example, this one, version 2.1.1. Let's copy the command and let's run it. It will take a, um, a few seconds, maybe a minute, in order to install all the requirement uh, Python libraries that come along with the PyTorch. So let's jump directly to the end of this process. And done. Next, we have to install the YOLO V8. In order to do that, we will pip install Ultralytics version 8.1.0 this this is the version that I used in this tutorial so let's wait a few more seconds until the installation will be finished in some of the version of the YOLO V8 there was a, a problem that it installed the OpenCV headless. So if you have a problem uh, using OpenCV with YOLO V8, you have to run uh, the command of uninstalling the OpenCV headless. If uh, So run this command. It will uh, pop up an error message if the headless was not installed. So in order to, uh, uh, to continue, you can run this command and also reinstall the OpenCV just for double check that everything is okay and then we continue to the next step. So now we have to download our dataset. As you can see I will leave a, an instruction file and all the coding for this uh, tutorial as a link in the description so you can use it. So this is the dataset. It's called Stanford CAR dataset. As you can see there are 196 image uh, categories and in each category there is a several uh, uh, hundred of images just uh, browsing this uh, this data set i downloaded it already locally so we can see these are all the categories let's see some of the images you can see many types of cars and it's all categorized in different folders Let's change the interpreter to our Conda environment and let's code the, the training of the model. So I'm creating a new Python file. Let's call it step number two, train the model, a fresh Python file. Let's import the relevant uh, Python libraries, the YOLO out of Ultralytics and let's create a main function. First of all, we have to define the relevant YOLO weights. The YOLO 8L means the large model and CLS means classify. We will see later that the YOLO V8 has uh, several types of models, nano, small, medium, large, and extra large. Now let's uh, define the path for our images. Under the car data, there are there is the train folder and the validation folder and beneath that there are all the categories with the images. Our batch size would be 16, mean in each batch we will contain 16 images. The project is the place where the output of the model would be stored, that means all the results of the model. And let's also define an 
experiment. Experiment is a, a, a name that means what is the target of our model. Let's choose a, a, my model as our target experiment. Now model dot train. That means this is the, the process of training, and we have to send several arguments. First of first of all, the path for our data. How many epochs? Let's run it with 30 epochs and the name of the project and the name of the experiment. Let's also add the bed size. And device zero means that it would use my uh, first GPU. I have only one, so device zero means the only one. Patience five means that in each time that the model is not improved, it will try it for five epochs and then stop the training. Okay, now we have to run this function, this main function, and I believe that we done. Let's run it. Let's wait a few seconds. As you can see, I have an error. I think I forgot to download the weights. So let's go to the YOLO V8 uh, GitHub. This is the classification tab as you can see i have to download this file yolo v8 lcls so i download it locally and let's copy and paste the name of the file and the full path where i store this file you can see that i also forgot the v and the name yolo v8 now let's run it As you can see, the training starts. I have more than 8,000 images, none of them corrupt, corrupted. So it's very good. Now it's running on the first epoch. And we have to follow the lost value. As you can see, the lost value is very high, it's about 5.1. And we hopefully. Uh, expecting that it will go to a lower value near zero. This process is very long. Uh, it took in my, in my environment about 11 hours. So basically we will jump directly uh, to the end of this training. So as you can see, it took all the 30 epochs. And if I follow the lost value, it's can see is very very low about 0 0.0405 so it's very a uh, good value and very important that see that all the results store in my model folder so this is the confusion matrix as you can see a very good results let's also watch the the diagram of the train loss and validation loss as you can see the results are very very good these are, for example, images on the validation data. You can see that the prediction is very good as well. So let's test it on our own image. I download an image from Google, a, a car image, and let's try to predict it out of this 196 categories. So this is the image, the car image. It's a Chevrolet Coblat, but let's uh, see if our model would predict it correctly. So once again, we are importing the relevant uh, Python libraries, the YOLO V8, NumPy, and OpenCV. Let's load our saved model. It was stored in the My Project, okay, on the My Model uh, uh, folder. The best PT is the relevant file we have to use this one so this is the full path for our saved model now let's uh, define the path for our uh, fresh image this is a Chevrolet image so this is the path the relative path for the image and now we will try to predict it so we will use the, the model function and send the path of our image and 
the results will be stored on the results variable. Let's run the prediction. And as you can see, the, the result is a lot of data. So we have to extract the, the required information out of this result variable. This is, for example, the, the original image, the, the shape of the original image, and the probes. These probes uh, attribute is very important. So let's uh, grab all the categories, all the names of the 196 categories. This name dict would contain this information. And let's grab the probes, the, the probabilities of the, all the values of the probabilities out of the model uh, the prediction. So first of all, we will print the categories. It should be only a list, a simple list. And next, let's print all the predictions. So basically we will have 196 numbers of probabilities. Let's run it. So now we are expecting to see a, a list of all the categories, the names, and beneath that, all the values, all the predictions of our categories. So basically we have 196 numbers. So what we have to do next, we have to extract the one with the highest prediction value. The highest prediction value means that this is the predicted, the best prediction a car. So in order to do that, we will use the argmax uh, function from the NumPy uh, uh, library. So this, um, this function will give us the index of the highest prediction value. And then we will send this as an argument for the list of categories and we are expecting, expecting to see the name of the prediction car, predicted car. Great, as you can see, it's a Chevrolet Coblat. Great, so the model works perfectly. So we would like to, to display our, our original image, our test image, along with the predicted text. So we will load the image using the IAM reader, using the OpenCV function. And let's put the text over the image using the put text function. So we will send to this function the text, the position of the text, the, the font, the color of the font, how big is the font. And let's show uh, this image, the image along with the text. And let's run it again. Great, as you can see, we have the image with the text. The text is should be resized, so let's change it to uh, 0.5 and let's run it again. Great, so we have our final image. We have the prediction. The predicted uh, category is displayed along with our image. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You are most welcome to subscribe to my channel.